Hi there! In an earlier video, we learned how to use the if statement and the six different relational operators or the Boolean operators to compare a primitive. Uh, in that case, it was an integer uh, with another value. In this video, you'll learn how to do a similar thing with strings. Because strings are classes, you have to use uh, uh, different uh, operators uh, and uh, methods in order to do the same type of comparison and not the relational operators. So let's get started. We're going to create a new class. Call it string equals. Okay. First thing we're going to do is say in class right here. So always want to leave that comment. Next thing we're going to do is start our uh, static void main method. String left bracket, right square bracket, arcs, and then our curly braces. Then right away we want to do n method main. All right, very similar to what we did in the if statement class earlier in the other video, we're going to define a string and then do a comparison with it using the if statement. And this time, instead of the relational operator or the Boolean operators, we're going to use a method in the string class to perform the same type of comparison. Great, so we're going to define that string uh, object right here. String. And we're going to just, uh, normally you wouldn't say ABCD for password, but uh, we're going to say that this is a good password. Now we're going to do a comparison with it. If password is, oh wait, but we're not going to use equal. So we're going to do dot equals ABCD. So notice that there are two sets of parentheses here. This first set right here, this one and this one, they go together for the equals method call from the password, uh, this string object right here uh, called password. So notice the dot notation right here. Yeah, this dot, noca look, this dot notation uh, is spe uh, specifying that this equals is a method of this uh, this object right here. This other set of parentheses is for the this boolean condition right here. So, so just like the other one, the other um, integer comparison, we're gonna say There you go. And terminate with a semicolon. And then just like, oops, and a comment and if, and then just like the other one, if it happens to be false, we want another set of statements the, in the else branch to be executed. It is not correct in this case. All right, so let's build this. Well, let's have a look at this first. Okay, so this uh, this if statement says that if the password, which was assigned the value of ABCD earlier, is equal to ABCD, then it will execute, uh, well, it will execute everything in, be in between these two curly braces right here. Right now, it just happens to be one statement, which is it will print out to the console, to the system uh, out, password comparison is correct. Now, if this does not result in a true condition, a, uh, in other words, a false condition, if, th if these do not equal, then it would print this out instead. 
Great, and that's it if, uh, for the if-then-else comparison with a string.